second winter by Tyler Childers is going to be played in double drop D and then capoed on the third fret. The way that you go to double drop D is that you detune the sixth string that is typically at an E, you tune it down to a D, and the first string, which is also typically at an E, you tune it down also to a D, then put your capo on the third fret. It's going to be being played out of D formation chords, and everything that I speak of from this point forward, I'll speak relative to our capo. So whenever I say third fret, I mean third fret relative to the capo and not the real fret number relative to the nut, which is not even on the screen up here. The song is going to start off with a D chord. The way that Tyler Childers makes this chord is he puts his first finger on the third string second fret and his second finger on the second string third fret. You can leave the first string open because that's also a D or a relative D. So you'll strike that chord. It kind of hits as a chuck hit like a one, two or one and. And the second movement is to take your ring finger and put it down on the sixth string, uh, the sixth string fourth fret. So you've got part again there while still leaving your first and second fingers where they were in this D position. And then you're going to pull your ring finger up one fret to the fifth fret and you'll take your second finger off of the fretboard and you'll put your first finger where your second finger just had been on the second string third fret and then you'll put your pinky finger back on the first string fifth fret. So same fret that your ring finger is on just now, uh, they're on opposite ends of the guitar. So those three movements come together like. Inside of this chord, which is functioning like a G chord for us, it doesn't look like a standard G chord, but that's what this is, um, is it's functioning as the G chord out of our D chord. Inside of this, you will hear Tyler Childers lift up his first finger, exposing the open second string, and then hammering back down with his first finger to the second string third fret. And the way that you do that is it happens on an up strum. So notice how I'm strumming down and then and then on the strum up I'm picking up my first finger and then hammering it back down. Or so that's how you're doing it. You're strumming it up with an open second string and hammering down to the second string third fret. And that's the intro, D to the uh, to the F sharp to the G with the hammer on. Once you get that part down, the verse is going to be a G chord. So this chord right here, um, G chord to then you're going to lower your ring finger back down to the sixth string fourth fret and put your first finger and your second finger back into this D position that it was in at the beginning of the song. So first finger goes back to the third string second fret, second finger goes back to the second string third fret, and you can leave the open or the first string open because it's in this D chord. So you've got, and then you'll open up the sixth string by lifting your ring finger. Then you'll strike that just like that, like a hit below six and then strum across the higher registered strings. Then you'll put your ring finger right back down to the sixth string fourth fret. You'll do the same strum pattern, strike low and then hit high, and then come back up into the G chord where you pull your ring finger up one fret, you pick up your second finger off of the second string third fret and put your first finger down on the second string third fret and your pinky gets drawn back again to the first string fifth fret. And that same hammer on happens in this chord pretty much every time that you land on it. Where you lift up your first finger, expose the open second string, and then hammer back down with your first finger to the second string third fret. And it repeats that uh, each round beginning on a G then. I'm saying one that's emphasizing the beginning of the next round and it's kind of confusing because 
the intro is beginning on the D. The intro begins on the D and ascends to the G and then goes back to the down to the D. But each one of the verses, the round begins on the G, which is the end of the progression as well in the verses. you can hear that as being the beginning um, and then you've got an A chord that will come into there occasionally after the G Tyler Childers will go to an A chord uh, now the way that he plays it watching him play it he actually just uses his first finger to fret the fourth and third strings at the same time with an open fifth string fourth and third strings fingered uh, or fretted just by the first finger on the second fret and then you'll have an open second string and an open first string. It's kind of hard for me to hit that fret clean like that, so I use two fingers. Uh, two fingers to fret the fourth and third strings on the second fret, but I'm still leaving open fifth string and then open first and second string. So out of the G it'll be to an A, and then after the A it goes back to the D chord and then D, F sharp, G. And that's the verse and the chorus that happens. Now whenever we get to the bridge, the bridge throws in a B minor. The way that you make that B minor is you put your first finger on the fifth string second fret, you put your ring finger on the fourth string fourth fret, you put your pinky finger on the third string fourth fret, and you put your second finger on the second string third fret. And then you can strum from the fifth string down. You'll go a B minor to an A, and Tyler plays that A again the way I was showing you before, but I use two fingers. And then it goes back to the D, F sharp, G. So the bridge again comes together as B minor, A, D, F sharp, G. Those are the chords to 20 Second Winter. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how to approach this Tyler Childers song.